Hey there, folks. Welcome back to another insightful video where we dive into common health concerns. Today, we're tackling a question that many of you have been asking. Why is my stomach bloated all the time? It's a frustrating issue that can really affect our day-to-day -day lives. So let's get to the bottom of it. Understanding the bloat. First off, let's clarify what we mean by bloating. Bloating is that uncomfortable feeling of fullness or tightness in the abdomen, often accompanied by swelling. It can make your belly look bigger and sometimes even cause pain or cramping. Common causes of bloating. Dietary factors. One of the biggest culprits behind persistent bloating is what we eat. Foods high in sodium, artificial sweeteners, carbonated drinks, and even some healthy foods like beans and cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower can produce gas in the gut, leading to bloating. Digestive issues. Conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, constipation, and lactose intolerance can all contribute to frequent bloating. These conditions affect how your body digests food and moves it through the digestive tract. Fluid retention. Sometimes bloating can be caused by excess fluid retention, especially in women during certain times of the menstrual cycle or due to hormonal changes. Believe it or not, swallowing air when you eat or drink, especially when talking while eating, can lead to bloating as well. This trapped air builds up in your digestive system and causes discomfort. Tips to reduce bloating. Now that we've identified some common causes, let's talk about how to tackle bloating head on. Watch your diet. Be mindful of what you're eating. Try to avoid foods that you know cause you to bloat. Keeping a food diary can help you pinpoint which foods might be triggers. Eat slowly and mindfully. Take your time to eat and try not to rush through meals. Eating too quickly can cause you to swallow air, which contributes to bloating. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Sometimes bloating can be worsened by dehydration. Consider probiotics. Probiotics can help promote a healthy balance of gut bacteria, which may alleviate some digestive issues that lead to bloating. Exercise regularly. Physical activity can help stimulate digestion and reduce bloating. Even a short walk after meals can make a difference. When to seek help. If your bloating is persistent, severe, or accompanied by other symptoms like significant weight loss, bleeding, or changes in bowel habits, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. These could be signs of a more serious underlying condition that needs medical attention. Wrapping up. So there you have it, folks. Bloating might be a common issue, but it's not something you have to live with every day. By understanding the causes and making some simple lifestyle changes, you can reduce bloating and improve your overall digestive health. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health tips and insights. Drop your comments down below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you'd like us to cover next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and stay healthy. Thanks for watching and see you next time.